Take a deep breath. And relax. Let's take another deep breath. And relax. Another deep breath. And relax. Give all your troubles away. Just relax whatever thoughts you have. At some points in your life, all thoughts are problems. And the best thing to do is to release all of them. Even the hopeful ones and the prideful ones. Maybe even the funny ones, although they can go last. Because they're funny. They got some staying rights. But for sure, everything that bothers you, everything that bundles you up into a little knot, take a deep breath and release out chaos whence it came. The chaos of source. The chaos of that undefined pool of infinite possibility where you just happen to pick up the wrong thought that you don't want anymore, that doesn't serve you anymore. Liberation in every moment is as easy as the choice to prioritize surrender to God over brooding on or indulging in your thought forms. So relax and be one with God, be one with Source. Be one with this awareness, love, light. The essence through which I speak, the essence through which you hear, sense, know, and of course are. For without being, there wouldn't be any problems to begin with. So we should both be grateful for the fact that we are, because without it, we couldn't even have anything to complain about. But also, whatever we assume we are is producing the problems. So beingness combined with a wrong assumption produces the little knots in our energy fields, the distortions. So whatever arises, just keep giving it away. Whatever assumption of being covers up the primordial being, just let it go. The 
it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. When we make it matter more than being itself, It's literally when we turn what is an innocent concept, any concept, any idea, any potential to be creative, any creative idea into a problem. Ideas are inherently free of being problematic until we make them into something that they're not. We make it more important than being itself. So just rest. Rest in being, noticing being. Just enjoy your awareness for a little bit. Awareness is God. That love-filled awareness is God. It's not love for any particular thing. It's love for everything. It's love for being. And when we remain undistracted by the next appearance, when we abide for a moment in motionless, aware being, when we touch upon that with our consciousness, with our sense of being, our sense of self. We make contact, subtly, gently make contact with that which is already aware hearing my voice, that which already is before anything else could ever be. That love filled, love for being, love for everything, not for anything in particular, the central state, the natural condition of open awareness. Natural condition of openness, opennessness. get to enjoy the remembrance of what is timeless about us. What is not as illusory, as conflict and problems. There's always something about us that does not produce any issues, does not produce any problems. And it's always there, looking at our problems, problem-free, awareness of whatever problems we produce, whatever we prioritize over simple trusting open being. Just be open for a moment, completely open. 
like the clear blue sky. Open to all clouds yet unaffected by any. An equal love for all that moves through its space. Open awareness. Open your awareness to open awareness. And learn to more or less melt with that, blend with it, rest in it, subside into it, relax into it, open up into it, become one with it. And let the former assumptions of self that were superimposed upon the natural self fall away, be seen through as optional illusions. And you can literally begin to feel this awareness this luminous, clear, open wakefulness beam through your body. As if this big background light that penetrates everything, that shines through everything, is turned on. And it shines through your body into the world into the perceptions you call the world. So turn that big spotlight from the background on. It's always on. Just recognize it. Enjoy the ease that sense of being soothed, of being massaged by a higher light. Let that penetrate your body. Let that animate your cells. Less control with the personal mind and more of a basking, taking a bath in that soothing, all penetrating, background light of the creator, the essential self, before any assumption of what that self is, is taken seriously. For a moment, don't take anything seriously and rest instead in the natural state. This is always already the case, you see. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you are thinking, the light is ever on. The presence is always present. Awareness is ever awake. Your existence is never at risk. This is what it means to enjoy yourself, literally. Where well, you're not enjoying a thing, you are enjoying yourself. To abide in aware, open awareness, is to enjoy yourself.
When we typically say enjoy yourself, we usually mean enjoy whatever activity you're going to put your body through, whatever emotions, sensations, perceptions you are about to put your body through. We say enjoy yourself. Have fun. But the true meaning of enjoy yourself is simply that. Enjoy your selfness. Not selfishness. Selfness. Self-being. Enjoy that means to abide in it, to bask in it, to rest in it, to revel in it, to be soothed by it, to blend with it to lose your fixation on the world. Take a deep breath. Then relax. Take another deep breath. Relax. And have a deep breath. And relax. and blend with the sky like the air or the wind blends with the sky. Still, empty, free of anything, just be. Enjoy yourself, your awareness. existence. Then when you feel you have replenished yourself with yourself,
You could consider returning to the illusion in your focus from this background of self. You don't have to lose sight of it. It's okay when you do, but you don't have to lose sight of this awareness because it's always there. So, the self give a, gives a boost towards creation. The impulse of creativity comes from rest. And the desire for rest comes from creative endeavors and activities. So find that nicer rhythm within the simultaneity of it all until they are brought closer and closer in unison together, meaning being an activity or resting and expressing. And they are less and less two separate things. Where the wind blows through the sky, but there is no separation between the wind or the sky. And this is known by the wind. And of course it's known by the sky. So then sky is able to and willing and available to move through itself in the form of wind to shape the earth. Be like the wind and one with the sky, transforming the earth as it blows through emptiness. can't do this if you get fixated on a particular house or building or city and you get smog. The wind needs to blow freely, untethered, without an anchor, without a strong assumption of self. Wind has no identity, that's why it continues to perform its duty on this planet. To shape and refresh. Be like the wind, at one with the sky. <laughs>